Girls are not good at mathematics, physics and chemistry, girls are only suitable for liberal arts. Really? In the 2019 US National STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics competition, a total of 2,348 middle school students were shortlisted for the finals, and the number of girls among the finalists exceeded that of boys for the first time. What is even more surprising is that the top five finalists are all women, which is the first time in the history of the event. Their five top awards totaled $65,000. Facts have proved that in a relatively fair environment, women are not worse than men in STEM, and even better. Ali Kingsmith, a senior management coach dedicated to helping women enter the STEM field, said that, technology is genderless and borderless. In fact, women have been active in STEM fields for a long time. Their inspiration has made a big difference in our lives. In today's video, I want to introduce you to a housewife in the 19th century. How did she invent a machine that changed the history of the world while doing tedious housework? In that patriarchal society, when women could not show their talents, the life of this female scientist was really wonderful. Today, we will talk about Josephine Garris Cochran, the story of the woman who invented the dishwasher. Okay, let's get started. If there is any household item that enhances the happiness of family, well, the dishwasher will definitely be there. It is a disagreement-solving machine for contemporary families, and it solves the universal problem of who does the dishes, in one fell swoop. Every time you put dirty dishes in the dishwasher, thank the person who invented it, wait, who invented the dishwasher, you might be shocked, in fact, dishwashers are over 170 years old. The first patented dishwasher was invented by Joel Houghton in 1850. It was a wooden box, and the tumbler of dirty dishes could be cranked by hand while water and detergent were manually added. Well, as you can see, this kind of dishwashing box is not very convenient, it is slow and difficult to use. It was Josephine Garris Cochran, also a woman, who really liberated the weary housewives of the time. To commemorate the 100th anniversary of Josephine Cochran's death, Romania, a country with no ties to her issued a postage stamp in 2013 featuring her face and dishwasher. Josephine was born into a family of inventors in Ohio, USA, her great-grandfather invented the first patented steamboat. After marrying wealthy businessman William Cochran, Josephine became a housewife and socialite. Especially after moving to Chicago in 1870, she often had to entertain guests to have dinner at home and washing the dishes after each meal was a very headache. She serves meals on precious china, heirlooms from the 17th century. After breaking a lot of dishes, Josephine found out that she wasn't very good at washing dishes and it was too tiring. She thought, if no one can build a machine that can wash these dishes quickly and safely, I will. It didn't take long for Josephine to have the basic concept of a mechanical dishwasher a dishwasher that holds dishes in place and rinses them with a pressurized stream of water. Josephine's invention process was not easy. In 1883, her husband died of alcoholism. While he looked good, all he was left with was around $1,500 in cash and a hefty debt. Josephine had to find new sources of income, which pushed her to speed up her invention of the dishwasher. She had to bring her idea to life as soon as possible, get a patent, and then find customers. In order to prevent the dishes from moving around in the dishwasher and keep them safely inside, Josephine carefully measured the size of each bowl, plate, and cup, and carefully designed a wire mesh basket according to these dimensions. There are dividers in the wire basket for different tableware. One end of the metal mesh basket is equipped with a roller, and the entire mesh basket is installed in a large pot. When the motor is working, the rollers will drive the basket to rotate, and pressurized hot water mixed with detergent will be sprayed from the bottom of the cauldron to clean the dirty bowls in the basket thoroughly. Everything was fine until Josephine hit a big snag when she tried to get someone to help her make the dishwasher out of the blueprints. The mechanics at the time were all men, and when Josephine showed them her designs and asked for their opinions, she rarely received approval. 
they thought that Josephine knew nothing about mechanics and was completely unwilling to do what she wanted. Finally, with the help of mechanic George Butters, Josephine finally succeeded in making a model of the dishwasher, and on December 28, 1886 received the Garris Cochrane, the first patent for a dishwasher. This was the world's first pressure spray dishwasher, which is still very mainstream even today. But then came the next daunting task, how to sell her dishwasher. Josephine originally planned to sell the dishwasher to housewives, freeing them from the tiresome job of washing dishes. But people feel that washing dishes by hand is not so unbearable if it costs $75 to $100 to add a dispensable item to the kitchen. And some people worried that there would be detergent residue on the tableware, and it was not convenient to get so much hot water at that time. The first to become Josephine's clients were her teliers. When she walked alone in the corridors of various big hotels, she described herself as feeling like fainting with every step. Because women in those days couldn't even go out to work, Josephine had never been to these places without her father or husband before. After overcoming obstacles, Josephine got an order for $800. The Gerris Cochrane dishwasher business was slowly getting off to a good start, but without the funds to build the machines herself, Josephine looked for someone to set up a company to raise capital to manufacture her invention. It would be nice if companies could be established even with only female shareholders, she once said. Most investors at the time also said they would only consider the project if Josephine resigned and handed the company over to male management. In 1893, the United States suffered a severe economic depression, and the whole society fell into a kind of panic. However, in this year, Josephine got a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. From May to October 1893, neoclassical buildings appeared on the huge swampy land beside Lake Michigan in Chicago, where the World's Fair was held to celebrate the 400th year since Columbus discovered the New World. Among the many exhibition halls, the Machinery Hall occupies a corner, where various inventions such as the telegraph and the phonograph are displayed. A strange device filled with more than 200 dirty dishes made passers-by stop one after another and saw that after it swallowed the dirty dishes, two minutes later, gleaming clean dishes appeared. The Gerris Cochrane dishwasher was the only product on display invented by a woman, and there were nine other dishwashers working for the Expo's restaurant at the time. The fair's judges were so impressed with the dishwasher, they awarded the invention the top prize for best mechanics, durability, and usability. Josephine and her dishwasher became famous, and orders for dishwashers surged from restaurants and hotels in Illinois and nearby states. Hospitals and universities also placed orders because the dishwashers met strict hygiene requirements. Josephine later opened her own factory, and dishwashers were exported to businesses in Alaska and Mexico. Beginning in the 1900s, Josephine had to travel around to check the installation of dishwashers in hotels around the world. Who would have thought that in 1887 she almost fainted while walking through the hotel corridor? Josephine's company was later acquired by KitchenAid, a subsidiary of Whirlpool Corporation. But in the first few decades the main users were still hotels and restaurants, because it was too expensive as a household appliance, and the development level of water heaters was really limited at that time. After the 1950s, as technological advances and a shift in femininity made people willing to pay for their own comfort and time, sales of home dishwashers began to climb, and they remain one of the most acclaimed kitchen appliances to this day. Finally, I would like to say that Josephine really started her career at the age of 47, so what are you worried about now? Well, thanks for your listening, and please be free to put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that are worth spreading every day. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.